Welcome to the public alternatives meeting for the State Road 40 Concept Development and Evaluation Study. This meeting is being conducted by the Florida Department of Transportation, or FDOT, and is being developed in coordination with the City of Ormond Beach, the River to Sea Transportation Planning Organization, and other interested organizations. This meeting and the subject study is being conducted without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, the FDOT District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard in Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367 or by email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. You can also contact Jacqueline Paramore, the State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Suwannee Street, Mail Station 65 in Tallahassee, Florida, 32399, or by phone at 850-414-4753, or by email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. All inquiries or complaints will be handled according to FDOT procedure and in a prompt and courteous manner. This presentation provides an overview of the project including background information on why this study is being conducted. We will review the trail route alternatives under consideration and include the anticipated schedule for the remainder of the project. The conclusion of the presentation will provide ways you can get involved in this study. This project is part of the St. John's River to Sea Loop which consists of a 260-mile planned regional trail under the shared-use, non-motorized Sun Trail Program. Once complete, the St. John's River to Sea Loop will connect several communities, including St. Augustine, Daytona Beach, Titusville, Deland, and Palatka. The Ormond Beach Trail Gap is approximately one mile in length and is located in the city of Ormond Beach in Volusia County, Florida. The limits of this study are from Casson Park at Beach Street to State Road A1A. The future St. John's River to Sea Loop Trail will join from the south utilizing existing facilities along the east side of Beach Street and will continue north as a planned facility along State Road A1A. The State Road 40 study is focused on closing the gap between Beach Street and State Road A1A in the vicinity of State Road 40. When looking to close the gap between Casson Park and State Road A1A, three alternatives are currently being considered. All three alternatives utilize the State Road 40 bridge over the Halifax River. The existing bridge provides buffered bike lanes and separated sidewalk facilities on both sides of the bridge. Combining pedestrian and bicycle facilities over the bridge was considered. However, due to safety concerns with speed differentials between bicycles and pedestrians, it was determined separated facilities are preferred. All three alternatives will utilize the existing facilities along the bridge providing connections on either side of the bridge through the four city parks at each end. For Alternative 1, the Blue Route, the alternative continues along State Road 40 and turns north between the Ormond Beach condos and the post office before continuing east towards Granada Plaza, crossing Halifax Drive, and bordering the Oceanside Country Club golf course. The trail turns south along Granada Plaza, then follow State Road 40 to State Road A1A. Alternative 2, the Green Route, and Alternative 3, the Purple Route, turn south along Riverside Drive and east along Casements Drive. 
The trail crosses Halifax Drive and borders the Ormond Memorial Gardens along Seton Trail and through a parking lot to Vining Court. At Vining Court, the two trail alternatives split. Alternative 2 turns north to State Road 40, crossing at a new mid-block crossing, then continues along State Road 40 to State Road A1A. Alternative 3 turns south at Vining Court and follows the roadway to Bovard Avenue. From Bovard Avenue, the trail joins State Road 40 to State Road A1A. The trail would utilize the signalized intersection to cross State Road 40. For this alternative, the intersection crossing would be modified to support a trail facility. To effectively compare the three alternatives, a series of evaluation criteria was analyzed and is summarized in the evaluation matrix. Key comparisons include length of project, safety, connections to community features, support from the maintaining agency, number of privately owned parcels requiring right-of-way, and estimated project costs. This matrix will be utilized along with your input to determine the preferred alternative. A detailed evaluation matrix is on display here tonight. Following this meeting, the study team will identify the preferred alternative and develop concept plans in coordination with local agencies. This planning study is anticipated to end in September of 2017. The next phase, the design phase, is not funded at this time. Following the design phase will be right-of-way, then construction. The timeline will be based on available funding. We value your input and welcome your involvement in the study process. We encourage you to engage in conversation with the study team staff located at the display boards during tonight's meeting to discuss your ideas or concerns. We also have comment cards available around the room. This is an excellent way to communicate your thoughts, concerns, and ideas to the study team. Please fill out a comment card and leave it in the comment box or mail it to the address on the back by July 24, 2017. This presentation and all the materials on display here tonight will be available on the project website at www.cflroads.com. Thank you for attending tonight's meeting for the State Road 40 Ormond Beach Trail Gap Concept Development and Evaluation Study. We now invite you to join the study team for open discussion at the display boards. If you need more information about the study, you may also contact FDOT Project Manager Judy Pizzo by phone at 386-943-5167 or email to judy.pizzo at dot.state.fl.us or State Road 40 Ormond Beach Trail Project Manager Julia Holzhausen by phone at 386-943-5058 or by email to julia.holzhausen at dot.state.fl.us. This presentation will restart in a few moments.